Benre needs their own Igboho to resist killer headers, Reno Mokri says. A former presidential aide, Reno Mokri, has asked indigents of Benue State to unite and raise a leader like Sunday Igboho that can confront killer headsmen. Uh, killer Fulani has sought as well in their territories. Omokri said this in on his verified ver- Facebook page on Friday in his reaction to hashtag Benway under attack, trending on social media new, due to the fresh killings of 36 Christian Tiv people murdered on Thursday at Mbagena community of Kasina, Allah in the state. Benway has been mostly targeted by murderous Fulani herdsmen in recent times. The same fate had befallen the southwest, mostly Ogun and Oyo. Until Chief Sunday, Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igbo, who took up the fight and asked Flani Herders to vacate Reba land in February. Omoko, who, is a, who was a former special assistant to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, however believed Benue, also known as the, as the food basket of the nation, needs a replica of Igbo to resist the criminals tormenting them. In his words, it says, except Benue gets their own Sunday Igbo, these almost daily attacks have characterized Hashtag Benue under attack will continue to happen. If Benue people clash with cows, General Muhammadu Buhari will always side with cows. Benue needs an Igboho that will, si- that will side with them. In Benue, we read about people who fight at universities and who fight their brothers. Can these people not channel their energies into protecting their communities? Look at Igboho. He is not huge or hefty, yet when they hear his name, they shiver like Shenzi shivers when the name Musafa, Mufasa is mentioned. Omokri said, all right, um, let's just look at what the comment section is saying from this news. Someone says, um, Oga just say MNK, you know, go die. Igbo Hoi just start yesterday. Well, the fact is, I I think there needs to be some clarification. Um, obviously, Nasson Igbo Hoi is very much celebrated by his people. But if anyone can give in the comment section, what has he particularly done because if you compare to you know Mazambikano to be honest he's done more and of course in terms of being vocal against the government I mean we understand okay fine Biafra has <laughs> has the fight for it, it it has started since Nigeria's inception which you know it's incomparable to when you know Sunday Bo or the quest for Dua Nation is just starting so yeah um somebody says they are already fighting to take over the middle belt, so we bear the name North by all means. Okay. So says Igboho is a thug only if you understand. She's just serving paymaster. Let's not be deceived by anyone. Um Ohane is the only one just watching ESN before terrorist killing security personnel. And from the video I watched, the people who the people are also praising them. Hmm. I don't want to hear their innocent civilians, armless people. Or calling them or calling on human rights. Nigerian army should do the needful united we stand. Hashtag I care. Right. Um again, well what else can I mean I don't know in terms of the general view of Benue State, we don't even know what's going on there to be very honest, apart from it killings and all that. Um but then again it's like I don't think there has to be always a leader, like a prominent person. I mean I guess in some cases it can work however when everyone comes together i think even with the answers protest i think that was even made it successful there was never really one person of course several people still got attacked and you know scott um i targeted by the government however why you know answers was such a success was that it was so organic and there was no leader and i think that confused you know a lot of um it confused a lot of you know, people in official positions basically the government so yeah and I don't think there has to be an Igboho, because to be honest, personally, I do not know what Igboho has done, or maybe he's done things, but then he hasn't been brought to the limelight. I do not know. I think for from what I can see, when it comes to Sunday Igboho, in my personal opinion, I don't have facts to back this. It's just what I think. I think when it comes to Sunday Igboho, it's just all hype, honestly. I, I And of course, because he comes from a line of people that are that sort of... Well, yeah, yeah, he comes from a land of people who do charms and are, you know, part of, you know, the, you know, Yoruba sort of charm ancestry, that kind of thing, you know, doing, 
african spirituality all that so again because we, we've seen pictures of him wearing some vest underneath you know what his normal clothes are and of course people interpret that as okay fine that's what yoruba people wear when they go to war all that kind of thing because he has chance for protection which again fair enough but um there hasn't there there hasn't been any sufficient evidence to prove that okay fine he's a strong character i mean to be honest all is just hype and not that it is bad but i let so the boy is just very much new let us see what he has done before we send before we start using him as a benchmark for all other states to be like oh create your own Igbo. like you know it's it suggests that he must have done something let's say legendary mm. someone says they are useless soldiers are in southeast killing our people oh okay <laughs> someone says your own Igbo should very should very soon start disassociating himself from the false agenda that's a bit confusing what do you mean by false agenda it doesn't doesn't really make sense um yeah that's basically just it so yeah if i mean again if the people feel like you go is the person to do what they want to achieve absolutely fine but it takes a lot it takes a lot and i think at this point we need to where we need to start from is our human rights and just making the government respect us again i yeah i, I use the word making because again power is taken it's not given and of course because the government does not rate us, they will never take accountability for the things that they've done against, you know, Nigerians. And that's just it. So again, I don't know what fight Beno needs to do, but I'm not. it's not highly necessary and, you know, do or die if they don't have their own quote-unquote Igboho, you know. And so it's really not that. I mean, at the end of the day, it's the education and knowledge that everybody needs to understand the human rights, understand their worth be able to you know think critically and then be able to you know strategize go for a target and achieve it and you know any way they can they can do it themselves they don't necessarily need one person or one leader that can be identified if, if i mean it can work in some cases absolutely but again you just you just open yourself as a target for the government to come against you to be very honest um but then again is different the the government does treat different tribes very much differently um the bias is definitely if you compare is definitely towards more Igbos. a lot of people may disagree but i think that's the case too like, don't get me wrong nigerians are suffering under the whole umbrella of bad governance anyway but um you just have to be more observant and be sensitive to actually see a lot of things happening so again i don't even think so Igboho is again him present the southwest i don't think it's a it's a very appropriate you know parallel to so then say that okay fine you know we can Benue states needs to find their own Igbo if they want to fight Fulani um gunmen and all that so yeah put what you think about this in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.